Oh, hello, welcome back. I was just looking at my son's Afrikaans mark again. 18 out of 30. Remember in the last segment, we changed that to a percentage and we said it was actually 60%. And I was quite impressed, eh? 60% for Afrikaans for a guy who can't talk or read or even understand the subjects. Not bad. That's right. We were doing percentages just before the break. And we're going to pick it up now, but it's going to get a little more complicated. We're going to start applying the basic concepts that we've just had a look at. So, percentages it is, and uh, our second part of that. And in this segment, we're going to be looking at percentage increase or percentage decrease. And we're also going to be looking at that, which should be very, very interesting. Now, in our, this segment, or in our last segment, we said, and it's just a quick reminder, that there are three parts to a percentage problem. There's the percentage itself, the whole number. In other words, if I want to find 5% of 20, the 5% is the percentage, the 20 is the whole number. And then the new amount, or my answer, is the third part of that problem. And we said when we calculate percent, what we actually do is we say the percent times the whole number is equal to the new amount. Now, folks, I'm going to introduce you to something that um, I teach my students. And it's quite a lovely little formula that you can apply to any percentage problem you want to. So, let's have a look at this. We've got an amount that we're going to deal with. Okay, and then we've got the percentage that we're dealing with. Let's say we tell you to increase by 10% or 4% or, or whatever the case may be. That is symbolized by that percentage. Now, with this formula, what we're going to do is this. We are going to say I've got an amount. And with that amount, I'm either going to multiply or I'm going to divide. Now, I'm going to multiply when I'm trying to find my new amount, okay? So I know there's going to be a new amount that I'm trying to find. I'm going to divide when I'm trying to find the original amount, okay? Or the amount that's been increased or decreased. So, I take my amount. If I multiply it, if I'm trying to find a new amount, or I divide if I'm trying to find what was the original amount I was dealing with. Then I times it by 100% and I either add my new percent or I subtract my new percent. I add my new percent if there's been an increase, okay? And I subtract my percent if there's been a decrease, right? Now, guys, this formula is something I use for all my students. And originally, uh, initially, it looks quite complicated, doesn't it? But when you practice and you use this and you use this and you use it, you're going to say, wow. I'm going to get 100% for every single percentage question because this makes sense. So have a look what's on your screen now. Okay? Take a mental note of it. In fact, you might want to write this down. Okay? And I'm going to show you how we can apply it in different questions. So let's have a look at our very first question. Right. Percentage increase or decrease? So here's a problem. The price of petrol increases by 12%. The original price was 10 Rand 70 per litre. What is the new petrol price? Now, there are two ways of doing this. Okay? The first way is probably the way you've been taught at school by your teacher. So you're going to find the new price. The first thing you do, though, is you find the old price. So, or write down the old price. What was the old price? 10 Rand, 70. So, I'm going to say I've got 10 Rand, 70. Cool. Plus, I'm going to add the percentage of the old price. What is the percentage? 12%. So, we're going to find 12% 
of the old price, which was 10 Rand 70. Okay, now let's do that. I'm going to do it in two parts. I'm not going to do it all in one part. Why? Because a sum like this in your matric exam is going to not be worth one mark. They're probably going to be two or three or four marks for this kind of calculation. And your examiner will have allocated some marks for doing the bits and pieces of that, of the sum. Okay? Always remember that. No examiner just marks the answer. They mark all the working bits as well. So we want to please the examiner, and, and especially the person who's marking my test. Okay? I want to make him happy. I want to show him, hey, I know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to show all the bits and pieces. So we're going to start off then, and we're going to say, well, now what is 12% of 10 Rand 70? And again, folk, remember, we're going to use our calculator for this. I'm not going to use my head. My head doesn't work properly. Okay, I'm going to use my calculator. So I'm going to say, cool, 12%, and remember percent is over 100. So I've got 12%. I'm going to multiply that now by 10 Rand 70. And my answer is going to give me 1 Rand 28.4. Okay, so let's write this. 1, 2.84. Now, folks, straight away, that's a bit of a problem. Why is that a problem? That's a problem because in money, I only use two decimal places, don't I? Because I have rands and cents. And I can't have 28,4 cents. I've got either 28 cents or 29 cents. Okay? But I'm going to round it at the end of my problem. Let's keep right out the whole number. 1,284. And then I'm going to get my final answer. And then I'm going to round that final answer. And the reason I do that, if I start rounding all the bits and pieces, by the time I get to my final answer, I'm going to have a whole lot of um, bits and pieces that were rounded, and my answer is not going to be as accurate as it should be. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to say, right, on my calculator now, I already have 1,284. To that, I'm going to add 10 rand and 70 cents. And my answer works out to being... 11 rand comma 984. So it's 11 rand comma 984. And remember, folk, we said can't have three decimal places in money, can only have two. So is it going to be 11 rand 98 or is it going to be 11 rand 99? Well, on this, it's going to be 11 rand 98. Why 98? 98 because my 4 is closer to 98 than what it is to 99. Right, there is my answer. Easy, isn't it? Of course it is. Okay. Now, next question. Nomalazo receives a salary increase of 7%. If a new salary is 10,600, what was her salary before? the increase okay so let's have a look at this i'm going to show you my method of doing this because i think it's so much easier okay let's first of all do it with the formula that they've given oh incidentally if a question gives you a formula use the formula all right so let's have a look at this so i'm going to say now i've got my amount of ten thousand six hundred rand Okay, so my new salary is 10,600 Rand. So I've got 10,600 Rand, okay, equals my original salary, which I don't know what it was, plus I'm going to find a percentage, which was how much percent? 7%, plus I'm going to add 7% of that original salary. Again, I don't know what it is. Now, folks, this gets kind of complicated, doesn't it? So let's use that method that I uh, introduced us to. We're going to write the amount, 10,600, okay? And then I've got 100%, and the new amount 
was 7%. Okay, now I'm going to either use times or divide. I use times if I want to find the new amount, or I use divide if I want to find, well, what was the old amount? And in this case, we're trying to find out what was that salary before the new amount of 10,600. So I'm going to use divide. Then I've got 100%. I'm either going to plus or minus. Now, did my salary go up by 7% or did it decrease by 7%? It went up by 7%. So my sum actually looks like this. 10,600 divided by, what's 100 plus 7? Plus 107%. And percent can be written over 100. Okay, so let's do that. Out comes my calculator, and I'm going to say, cool, we've got 10,000, and how much was the amount again? It was 10,600, okay? So 10,600 rand. I'm going to divide it by 107 over 100, and I'm going to get an answer then of 9906.54. Okay, 9906,54 rand. So in other words, I used to get a salary of 9,906 rand and 54 cents. My boss comes along, he says, good news, we're giving you a 7% increase. He adds 7% and my new salary now is 10,600 Rand. Okay. Do you see how my lovely new formula is all working out? Okay. Do we use times? Do we use divide? Do I add the percent? Do I subtract the percent? If we know that, we can use this formula in anything. Let's have a look at our next problem. Okay. My next problem, a pair of jeans is on sale with a markdown of 20%. If the original price of the jeans was 199 Rand, what is the sale price? Okay, so let's have a look at this. We've got a price of 199 Rand. We've got 100% and we've got 20%. Okay, we always start with 100. Okay, and the 20 we get from our question. Now, are we trying to find the original price? or the new price and we are trying to find what's the new price it was 199 rand what's the new one so we're trying to find the new we're gonna multiply now did the price go up by 20 percent or did it come down by 20 percent there was a mark down of 20 percent down is decrease decrease is minus so my question now reads like this 199 Rand multiplied by what's 100% minus 20%? 80%. How can I write percent? 80 over 100. And now all we got to do is punch this into our calculator and our calculator will do the work for us. So I'm going to find my calculator here, clear it, and I'm going to say, cool, we got 199 Rand. I'm going to multiply that now by 80 over 100 and my answer there she is 159 rand 20 cents 159 rand and 20 cents okay let's recap the times because i was trying to find the new price and i used minus because my price was coming down it's exciting Let's find another question quickly. In my next question, we are now going to look at VAT because VAT involves percentages, right? Now, first question you're going to ask yourself is this, myself, do I use 14% or do I use the new 15% in the examination? Well, folk, the examiner will probably tell you what that VAT amount is. Okay. He's probably going to say, calculate using the VAT of 15%. Right? I presume they're going to do that. If they don't, I would use 15%. Why? Because as of the 1st of April, 
2018 that went from 14 percent to 15 percent but hopefully your examiner is nice to you at the end of the year and tells you it's 15 percent if they don't use 15. okay so let's have a look at the type of problem with that so an item costs 100 rand it includes the 14 percent vat what was the price without vat what do i do i write my amount 100 i've got a hundred percent and i'm using 14 percent vat okay now this question was probably taken before the first of april and that's why they're still using 14 percent okay so my first question am i trying to find the original price or the new price well i've been given the new price i've told you the price the item cost 100 rand what was it before we applied the percent so because i want the original price i'm going to divide okay then did my item go up by 14 percent or did it go down by 14 percent it went up by 14 percent didn't it of course it did they added 14 percent to my uh, item whatever that item was so my question now reads 100 rand divided by 100 percent plus 14 percent is 114 over 100 out comes my calculator and I'm going to say I have 100 I'm going to divide it by 114 because it's percent over 100 and there's my answer right over there 87 rand 72 cents okay 87 rand and 72 cents okay. so that's actually the money the shop is getting from you they only, even though they charge you 100 Rand, they're only getting 87 Rand 72. Wow, what's happened to the rest of that money? The rest of that money was given to the tax office. Okay, so that, that doesn't go to the shop. It goes off to Mr. Taxman. Let's have a quick look at one more example. The item cost 87 Rand 72, excluding 14% VAT. What is the price with the VAT? Quickly, we have 87 Rand and 72 cents. We've got 100%. We got 14%. Okay. The item cost that. What is the new price? Because it excludes the VAT. So the new price is going to be times 14% is added. So I've got 87 Rand and 72 cents multiplied by 114 percent and again folk calculator is going to do all that work for us let's have a look quickly out comes my calculator and i'm going to say 87 rand 72 multiplied by 114 over 100 and we're going to get our answer of da -da -da -dum. 100 rand and zero cents so it's a hundred rand in fact this question is the reverse of the last question okay guys i hope this is helping you i hope it's making loads of sense remember percentage is critically important if you don't understand this go through this again and again and again until you get it we're going to take a break chat soon